Good morning, Renew Kids. I'm Brandon. I'm Emma. And I'm Liam. And today we're going to be talking about wisdom as per usual, but it is a special episode. We have a special guest, one of the wisest people in all of world history, what? be joining us next or It's going to be pretty later, epic, yeah. It's gonna be, yeah it's gonna I'm be awesome. so excited. Yeah. yeah, guys, we've been learning about wisdom. We're learning about a lot of different topics about wisdom, but we've been learning that we need to surround ourselves with people who are going to benefit us, right? And pe- we need to surround ourselves with wise people in order to become wise. And that's super important for us to to focus on uh, when we surround ourselves with our friends and stuff like that. Yeah, I feel like if we're not surrounding ourselves with wise people, guys, we're going to end up acting more like the person we're surrounding ourselves with. So if that person likes to cheat on a test or steal something at the dollar store, okay. our actions are more more likely to reflect that person's actions just because we're surrounding ourselves with them. So we want to make sure that when we're hanging out with our friends, we're not only hanging out with fun people, but people who are also wise and follow the word. Yeah, no, that's super. That's super wise. Super wise. Emma. Super wise Jeez. right there. Yeah, for sure. All right, guys, we're going to start off this morning by jumping into our worship song. So sing along with us. Let's do it. Whenever I need some answers, God, I turn to you. You are my help when I need wisdom. You always see me through to know that you're chasing after me. Kids, we have a special guest on the show. Like I said, one of the wisest people on the planet. Please welcome Squid. 
Ahoy, ahoy, mateys, ahoy, renewed children, hey, you little scoundrels. In fact, Admiral Brandon, it is Captain Squid to ye. Do you understand me? Do you comprendo, Mr. Yeah. Thank you yes, very I much. Do, Captain Squid. Thank you for having me on your malicious show. I really, truly appreciate this invitation. Yeah. I got here using a treasure map. This is an honor. This is a treasure yeah, to be here. I invited you. You invited me? emailed you, Captain Squid. Yes, I used the map. All right. On the email, you. F oh my goodness. Okay. Anyways, what are we doing here, Mr. Captain Admiral? Squid. Yes, sir. Um, I just want to ask about you. Why don't you introduce yourself to Renew Kids? Well, Renew Children, Renew Children of the Far Seas. My name is Captain Squid. You might not know me. I might not look like a like a wise man, but I've traveled far and far and long. I've traveled the seas. I've traveled to the Indian Ocean, the Pacific Rim. I've traveled in every <laughs> continent of the world. I've been to places you've never even dreamt of. Do you understand me? But. I'm a wise man. I'm a wise man. I may pillage and I may destroy and I may shoot cannonballs for a living, but I am wise beyond measure. Do you understand me? Do you understand me, Admiral Brandon? I think I do, Captain. I Spade. appreciate that very much. Show, I know I'm the, the wisest wise man. man in the seas. Wise man. Not just the seas. I've conquered the seas. I'm now the <laughs> wisest man of all of the world. Wow, Thank you very much for crazy. having me. Thank you. So you know what you're doing here, Captain Squid? I have no clue. Not a clue. Well, we want to see if me. you are actually as wise as you make yourself out to be. Oh, it's a test and shall be. Yeah, are we yeah. swashbuckling? <laughs> are we sword fighting? No. Oh, okay. We're going to ask you some questions. All right, We're then. We're going to pose three scenarios. And in these three scenarios, you're going to tell us, Captain Squid, mm -hmm. what you would do in those three scenarios. Is that okay? That sounds splendid. All right. Are you ready for your first one? I'm indeed ready. All right. Captain Squid, suppose you're at a grocery store. Grocery store? You what is that? I don't know. Do you uh, go to do, those? Do you mean a market? Yeah. A market, yeah. yes, yes. At a port. I'm trying to market <laughs> to buy fruits and vegetables. Yes? Okay. Yeah, yes. yeah. A market, so a grocery market, store. Okay. You're at the market, and you're waiting in line to pay for your goods, the loot. You pay for my it. goods. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna pay. Yes, I pay. I'm not a I'm not a scoundrel. I pay <laughs> for my goods with all the booty and the loot I've acquired. I'm pillaging. All right. Anyway, sorry. Yes, right. yes, yes. <laughs> so you're in line, mm -hmm. and someone in front of you, this lady, drops a hundred dollars. A hundred. You mean a hundred? Oh, fine, a hundred silver. A hundred doubloons. Dub sure, yeah. A hundred doubloons. Oh, wow, that's Buy a lot accident, of loot. Okay, a hundred okay, dollars. Okay. I don't know. What do you guys use? Pouches. Pouches. Yeah, she I, drops I, it. I, right. I. So what do you do? What do you do? Well, being the being the strapping lad I am, I would tap that young lady on the shoulder and say, Mademoiselle, you've dropped your coin purse. You've dropped 100 doubloons. Now I know you probably need those 100 doubloons to buy your apples and your bananas and your bread and your, your water and your oranges. So I would give her that 100 doubloons right back and I would make sure no one tries to mess with her ever again. Do you understand me? Yeah. Does that sound like a good answer to you? That's what a wise man would That's do. A wise We're new children. I hope you would choose the same answer because that is prime wisdom from a man, a gentleman, a gentleman pirate. Thank you. Next question, Brandon. That's a good one. Admiral, thank you, Admiral. I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you, Captain What's Squid. next? All right. This is, um, I, I just realized, I don't know if you've ever been in a situation like this, Captain. We'll have to but see. I've been in many this. situations you wouldn't even have dreamt of, young man. <laughs> All right, so this is the situation. Suppose okay. you did poorly on a math test. Have you ever done a math test, Captain? Uh, no, sir. I've not done a math <laughs> test. But can we change the example? Maybe a map drawing test? A map drawing or test. Or raising the sails? A raising, raising the, the sail sails, test? Yeah. Yes, okay. Yeah, maybe or, a, a, or a swabbing the deck? I've swabbed the deck many times. I've had tests for it. Yeah, okay, yeah. so say I do poorly on a swabbing the deck yes. test. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and what's the sorry? What's the scenario here? Rev, I have to change it now. Okay. But your parents, your parents oh, are like, okay. Ew, come on, Captain. Mm. We don't want you to do this poorly on this mm -hmm. the the deck swabbing test. Yeah. But you don't want you don't want them to know it was you. Aye. So you have the you have the opportunity to throw it under you know one of your privates. <laughs> oh, private. Yeah. yeah, private Jeff. Private Jeff. Just say like, oh, private Jeff messed private up. Private Jeff messed he did, up. He did a group project, and yeah, he's yeah. the one who had blundered it. Yeah. So, so my I, question to you, Captain, mm -hmm. is: Would you take full responsibility of this thing, or would you toss it on one of your teammates? My scoundrel nature would incline me to throw it under the under the bottom of my private uh, private Jeff, but oh, Jeff. my heart, my heart knows. Jeez. I should take responsibility for what I have failed. And that's what I would do. I would tell my parents, my pri my pirate parents, yeah. Captain Emeril, I would tell him, sir, I'm very sorry. I have failed. I have failed you. And I will not do it again. I will try my hardest to do better next time. Yeah. But I would not throw it under the bottom of one of my privates or one of my friends. <laughs> For you renewed children, I know you've never maybe swabbed the decks and had a swabbing the deck test, but... I can imagine if you failed a math test, it'd be easy just to push it aside or to lie about it. But that is not the wise thing to do. And you know that. You know that. Next question, Admiral Brendan. Thank you very much. That's good. I hope that's a good answer. I a good answer. The truth too. Thank you. All right. 
Last scenario, guys. The last one. Last Hit one. me this with it. really prove if you are one of the wisest men in the All world. Right. Do you understand? Okay. All right. All right, Captain. Suppose one of your friends comes to you for advice. Let's mm -hmm. say Private Jeff comes. Private Jeff, Private Jeff's yes. back. Aye. He's like, Captain, there's this, uh, there's this individual in my life. Mm hmm and I'm, I'm, I'm having issues with this individual, mm. right? And it's one of your crewmates, actually. <gasps> yeah. So they're having, some, they're having some kerfuffles, mm -hmm. having some fights. And he's coming to you for advice. How do I deal with this person? But at the same time, he's kind of slandering this person. Oh. He's saying some not so nice stuff. That's completely unnecessary. Yeah. Right? Aye. So you as captain, you're in charge of the ship. What did you do? What do you tell Private Jeff? I was captain of my ship. I I highly dislike quarrels between my crewmates. What I would have to do, I have to bring these two crewmates together, and I would say, "You need to be nice to each other. You need to love each other. Love on the seas is the number one most important thing to do." And that's what I would tell them. I tell them to be kind to each other, mm -hmm. show each other grace and mercy, and not slander behind the backs. Yeah. Don't don't swashbuckle your buddy behind his yes. back. That yeah. is not cool. Not yeah. cool at all. Mm -hmm. That's my wisdom. What, 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 what do you think, Admiral Brendan? I think that's a good answer. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. That is so wise, Captain. Thank you. That's incredible. It's Captain Squid D. <laughs> Captain Squid. Well, call Captain Squid, if that's all, if that's all you want us to give us for wisdom. I have to be back on the seas now, Captain yeah. Admiral. Sorry. We're, we're so honored to have you on the show. Uh, I really we're so appreciate thankful. your invitation. And I'm we off. hope that you join us in the future, maybe some future episodes. Thanks for, thanks for coming on. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yep. I appreciate you very much. Thanks for Thank you, your new children, for being part of this. I appreciate if you. you. Let, if you, you if you want to show, if you ever want to work on my crew, I would gladly have you. Show show Captain Squid some up. <laughs> Peace out, everybody. It's good to see you. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. The Bible. It's sixty six books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 10. For over 40 years, King Solomon ruled over Israel. During that time, he did some pretty amazing things, like building a breathtaking temple for the Lord in a beautiful palace for himself. He received visitors from all over the world. He shared with others the wisdom God had given him. Much of this wisdom can be found in the book of Proverbs, including this advice on how to gain wisdom. Walk with wise people and become wise. A companion of foolish people suffers harm. Unfortunately, Solomon's son, Rehoboam, did not pay attention to his father's words. He believed his way was best. And when Solomon died, Rehoboam became king of Israel. All hail, All hail King, King Rehoboam! Wow, check me out! Golden crown, spiffy palace, this is the life! Though the kingdom was strong under Solomon, he made the people work extremely hard. Now the Israelites wanted to see how this new king would treat them. Led by a man named Jeroboam, they came to see the king. Hey, you stole my name! It's Jeroboam, not Rehoboam. <laughs> Whatevs, Jer! Now what do you want? Your father made us work very hard. Let us take more breaks and we'll serve you well. Sounds like you want to slack off. We just need a little more vacay time. Then we'll be ready to give it all we got. Uh, well, come back in three days, Jer. Jeroboam and the Israelites left. Rehoboam paced the floor, trying to come up with a good answer. Yeah, no, maybe. Many times when Solomon needed wisdom, he asked God for it. Rehoboam didn't bother to talk to God, but he did at least talk to his father's wise advisors. The people want me to give them a break so they don't have to work so hard. What do you say? Be kind to them. Absolutely, give them what they're asking for. You'll win their loyalty that way. Then they will serve you well. Huh. Instead of taking the advice of these wise men, Rehoboam decided to ask his buddies, the guys he had grown up with. He found them eating honey cakes and debating racing chariots. Gotta go with gold rims is what I say. Nah, gold is all show. You have to add some diamonds for traction. Hey guys. Yo. What is up, my man? People 
want me to give them a break so they don't have to work so hard. What do you say? Oh, this is good. You get to do the real king stuff now. You gotta show them who's boss. Uh, they think your dad was tough? Tell them my pinky finger's stronger than my daddy's legs. <laughs> yeah, and, and my dad gave you a heavy load, but you haven't seen nothing yet. I am gonna lay it on you. <laughs> Rayabum frowned. He thought hard for two whole seconds. Whoa, you guys are good. I'm totally doing that. After three days, Jeroboam and the Israelites with him returned. Hey, Jer. Your Majesty, will you lighten the heavy workload your father gave us? <laughs> my pinky finger is stronger than my father's legs. My father put a heavy load on your shoulders, but I'll make it even heavier. My father punished stragglers. I'll double it up. Rehoboam finished with a flourish. He waited for people to tremble and bow low. Are you kidding me? Jeroboam turned to the Israelites. We don't want anything to do with this joker or the rest of David's family. Let's go back to our homes and start our own kingdom. Yeah! Hey, hey, wait. No, no, you can't do that. I'm in charge. Yeah, you're in charge of yourself. Good luck with that. Jeroboam and the men with him marched out and returned to their homes. From that day, the nation was split into two kingdoms. Rehoboam still ruled in Judah, but Jeroboam was made king of Israel. Totally not my fault. Rehoboam failed to listen to his father's own words. Walk with wise people and become wise. A companion of foolish people suffers harm. Rehoboam's foolishness nearly cost him all of the kingdom. That was such a good story. Thanks for watching with us, guys. Also, such a great and funny little interview we had with Captain Squid. Captain Can't Squid. Say Squid. Captain Squid. Yeah, that was Captain very informational. He seems like a very great. cool guy. Yeah. I'm actually thinking about maybe joining his crew one of these days. Let's I don't go. know. It seems, Private Leo. Seems like he's living a very fun life. You know, that'd be pretty cool. But yes. yeah. yeah, but the story was really good, guys. We got to learn again just what it means to be wise and be surrounded by wise people. We hope that you guys um, not only listen to that, but take it on upon yourselves to find people around you that are wise and hopefully become that person who is leading other people into God's wisdom. So, yeah, just remember to be wise. You also have to surround yourself with wise people, and that that's yeah. going to help you for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Now, there's this proverb that says, Walk with the wise and become wise, for a companion of fools suffers harm. Yeah. That's pretty that's pretty telling. If you walk with wise people, you're gonna become wise. And if your companions are fools and they're foolish people, then you're gonna become there's it's foolish. hard to grow when you're surrounded by exactly. people who are foolish and we don't always know, right? Yeah. So we can't just say walk with wise people. It's not it's not as easy, but yeah. surround yourself with people who who want to do good, people who love God, even people who don't love God but want to be good, I think yeah. there's definitely a lot to learn from those people yeah. too. No, for sure. And we can put them to the test like yes. we did for Captain Squid. Yes, yeah. that's we true. Can ask, ask them questions. Them. <laughs> yeah, no point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to see if they're wise. But I think uh, what we're going to learn from our Bible verse, our Bible verse of the month, is that the person that we should be going to for wisdom is ultimately God himself. Yeah. Because he's the source of all the wisdom, right? So why don't we just jump into our Bible verse yeah. real quick. Let's do it. If any of you needs wisdom, you should ask God for it. He will give it to you. God gives freely to everyone and doesn't find fault. James 1, 5. Thanks for reading that Bible verse, Emma. Super cool. No problem. Super inspiring just to, you know, ask for God, ask God and he'll give you wisdom. Just ask God and he'll give you wisdom. And that's super important. We can ask God for anything and he's always there to listen to us and he's always there to answer our prayers. And yeah, he's our friend, he's our father, and he loves us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Guys, we're going into our last week. This is our second last week. Next week is going to be our last week of Renew Kids, at least with us. I think it's going to continue depending on if we're in person or not. Stay tuned. I'm we'll give so you information. Sad. I know. Isn't it so sad to think? But so well, we have sad. one really fun yeah, there, planned week for next our week, last guys, week. You do of not Renew want kids. to miss you it. You got to tune in. Do not miss it's it. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be 30 bucks <laughs> on entry. <laughs> no, he's lying. He's lying. Free on the Renew Church YouTube channel. Renew Free Kids is going to be so strong. We love you guys. We're super excited. Thank you so much you. for joining. We'll see Have you next week. Have a good week, everybody. We'll see you guys. Bye. Bye. Peace out. Bye, everybody. See you on the seas. Later, guys. See you. Hoya, hoya there, matey.